Hi, I'm Bonnie Krebs from Art Impressions and I am here at scrapbook.com to show you our newest watercolor releases. You are going to love these new sets. Those of you who have done this before know what this process is and you can add more fun stamps to your collection now. And those of you new to it, you're going to love this technique and you're going to learn how to watercolor uh, just with stamps and markers and uh, brush and water. Okay, so I'm gonna show you how to do that. And this project is a really, really simple one. This is a really good introduction to this technique because it's super, super simple. I'm gonna show you how to make a wreath and we're gonna make this using our new sentiment set. So we've got lots and lots of new sentiments that can go with your watercolor paintings. So you can um, send a little encouraging message with your little um, creations. Uh, we're also going to use something from our foliage four set. So we're gonna use this little vine that kind of curves to the right, which means it actually curves to the left. So we're going to use that one and this little leafy branch right here. In addition to the branch to that, we're going to use something from the little branches set. So this one right here, the small one, and then in our flower set, the filler flower, and in the mini flower set, these tiny little dots, these tiny little dots are actually little flowers and they just work great. So super, super easy, let's get going. So I have penciled in a circle. This is a two inch circle and you can, um, it doesn't have to be two inches. You can make it as big as you want it. This is about two inches and then I've die cut it with our new die set. This is a rectangular die set and has rounded corners. So there are lots and lots of dis different sizes. It comes with a double stitched edge Edge, so you get a really nice decorative edge on here. So I have already sort of prepped this and now we're just going to add our stamps to it. Okay, so let's get going. We're gonna start out with that little leafy branch and don't be afraid to turn your paper as you go around in a circle. Uh, if you're doing a more complicated wreath, here's a really good tip for you. Make a dot in the center and draw a, squ uh, um, a cross shape and just repeat in every quadrant. So just duplicate, stamp it once here, stamp it once here and here as you go around. But in this case, this is a super, super easy one. So we're just gonna stamp it in a circle. Okay, so let's start out with inking that little grassy or uh, leafy branch. And I'm just going to turn as I go. So I'm gonna stamp it in once and a couple of times, maybe just another one and then ink it again. So you wanna get at least two or three impressions before you re-ink. So always keep that in mind with this technique. It's just really, really important that you stamp that a bunch of times. That's how we get that three-dimensional look. And add just a couple. And take a look at it, you know, when you're finished and see if maybe you need to add just maybe a little um, something here and there just to kind of fill it in. That looks pretty good. So we've got a basic circle there. So I'm gonna come back in now with my brush and water and I'm just going to soften these lines. So just touch it, it doesn't take much, especially with this stamp. This is more of an accent stamp, so it has more detail in the stem. So it doesn't need a lot of water. Just carefully go over it, just touch each leaf and actually you can take your time because these dry really, really quickly and the water will just activate that color again. So even if it's dry, you can walk away, come back to it hour later and just keep stamping and adding water. Okay, so let's go ahead and add some flowers in here now. So I'm gonna use a light blue and I'm just going to ink a couple, just a couple of them and walk it in a circle. Just walk it in a circle and just kind of make my way around. Maybe I'll do a bigger one right here. And then it's the same technique again. Stamp and add water. Stamp and add water. And then just softly blend that color. So just dab. And if you look at my hand, my hand is flat on the table. And I'm, I'm, I'm adding water like I would be writing my name. So keep your hand flat on the table. And then just use the side of the brush tip. Just the side. And just blend this all together. Okay, so I'm gonna take a little more blue now and I wanna add some blue into the background. This is gonna give us a little more depth too. So I'm just gonna take a little of this color and a little bit goes a long way. So just really, really wash that color out. So let's keep going. We're gonna add some more detail now. 
So I'm going to put in this little um, vine, the one that I said goes to the right. It actually looks like it goes to the right on the block, but it actually goes to the left. So I'm going to use that same light blue and just ink this and just kind of work my way around. And again, you want to use, you want to stamp that in there light and dark. It's really, really important to do that. So then just a little bit of water, just touch it, just dab. So really only a couple more steps to go. Let's take a darker green now and add this little branch in. And we can add as much of this in as we want to. Just kind of wherever you want to place it. So we are going to add one more element now to this little wreath. That is these little tiny dots. And they're super, super little, but they actually add a lot of detail. So I'm just using a darker blue now, and I'm going to stamp these in a circle as well. So everything is stamped on top of itself. Always remember that. That's really the, the whole technique in a nutshell, is stamping it on top of itself so that we get that dark to light impression. So we just are um, at, the, at the point where we can add the sentiment now into the center. And I've got it on a block here ready to ink up. And I'm just going to use my positioner because I wanna make sure that I get it centered uh, and, and right side up. So <clears throat> the positioner is just a little L bar like this. And it comes with a little acrylic shield. And so I'm just gonna ink up my stamp. And I'm just gonna use a dark blue here. And just using my marker, and just make sure you get enough ink on here. It's it's uh, it's a watercolor, so if it doesn't stamp really smoothly, that's okay. I think that kind of adds to the charm of it. So don't ever stress out about that. Okay, so now I'm going to place this into the center, and make sure that I have this uh, exactly where I want it. So now that I've placed it on my shield, I can look at it and. That looks pretty good right there. That looks centered. And now I can place my L bar back and just re-ink this one more time. Place this back in the corner and just stamp that down. Really good, solid, even pressure. And so I have my little wreath in there all ready to mount on my card base. So I have got my card base and I've already got my die cut uh, watercolor paper so I can now just glue this down. You know, these die bases can be really, really simple. Most of the attention and the focus will be on your watercolor. So just mount it on, uh, very simply. It kind of goes along with that whole idea of a simple, easy project that you can do in just a few minutes. So that includes your card base too. So I'm just attaching it to my paper and now to my to my card base. Okay, so let's just sign it. Even though this is uh, just a little wreath, you still wanna sign and date all of your work. So important. And there you go, ready to give it away. You're gonna make someone's day. Thanks for watching. If you like this video and want to see more from scrapbook.com, please like, share, subscribe, and leave a message. Happiness is life handmade.